As the state fire marshal's office tries to figure out what caused a fire that claimed a 78-year-old Bradenton woman's life, SNN's Melissa Warren returns to the scene where neighbors remember Margaret Anderson. Smoke was still billowing from Margaret Anderson's home on 63rd Avenue West by the time her neighbor, Robert McKay, got there an hour after it began. My, my neighbors told me that they'd called for the 911 and fire and police were here very, very quickly. And uh, they did a good job. Jim told them that uh, there was somebody in the house. They put their gear on was in that house in a flash. And you can see just how badly burnt the inside of this home is through the windows. And McKay says another neighbor actually tried to make it inside to pull Anderson out, but the smoke was just too thick for him to be able to get to her. His wife Adria tried to, but they just couldn't do it. McKay says after Anderson's husband passed away, she was living alone in the home, but had a caretaker who was with her very often, but not at the time of the fire. A couple of years, very, very, very nice lady. And uh, loved her husband to come out and talk. McKay and that brave neighbor who tried to save Anderson worked together as police officers in Maine and have seen many fires, but he says it never gets any easier when someone loses their life. No, it never, you, you, you never get used to it, believe me. It's always a tragedy. And all the excitement, you just get so worked up over them. I've been in some bad ones back in Maine, and uh, I still think about them. In Bradenton, Melissa Warren, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And the investigation into what caused the fire continues. Manatee County Sheriff spokesperson Dave Bristow says so far there are no signs of foul play.